Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Okay, let's get into it. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What's good, YouTube? What's good, Rebellion Gang? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am alive. Shout out to everybody who messaged me when the earthquake and tsunami happened in New Zealand. Thank God I survived. It was a whole ordeal. It was a whole situation, but we made it through. We made it through, fam. So thank you. Shout out to everybody who messaged me to see if I was okay. Shout out to you guys. I appreciate that. And now I am back with another lit video. And in today's video, as you can see by the title, we are going to be checking out the biggest selling albums of all time. Now, before we start, I'm going to address what happened in the first video. We had a lot of negative comments, a lot of haters, um, just a whole lot of conversation going on. But I just want to say to you guys, thank you for the views and hashtag road to 10K. That's all I can say. We're almost there. Man, I just can't believe it. Um, I appreciate everybody's passion when it comes to these topics but at the end of the day guys these videos are just purely for entertainment and i'm just not here for all the bs to be honest so i'll just block and delete things that i don't approve of and at the end of the day it's my channel so i can do whatever i want basically and that's on period let's be positive make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're brand new here and you love my content don't forget to click that bell notification bell so that you'll be notified uh, every time that I upload because YouTube be capping as we know. So that's very important. Um, follow me on Instagram at Ruben underscore Wills and make sure you smash that like button. I don't want any dislikes on this video, please. These videos take so long to edit and to do guys. So, you know, take that into consideration before you be a negative person and put a dislike on the video. It's like, who do you think you are? Let's get into today's video, which is all about the biggest selling albums of all time. This is fun to be lit. This is fun to be lit. I wonder what artists we're going to see and what albums are going to be in this list. I'm excited to check it out. Let's see what the biggest selling albums of all time are. Oh, and by the way, shout out to all my new subscribers that joined the channel. I appreciate you guys and uh, welcome to the community, man. Welcome to the Rebellion Gang. The merch will be dropping, guys. Don't forget that when we all reach 10,000 subscribers. To all my kings and queens out there, you guys are going to love this merch. I can't wait for it to drop. It's going to be cold. It's going to be cold. Anyway, guys, I don't want to waste any more of your precious time. Let's get straight into the video. We lit! Okay, so we start off in 1977. We've got St. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band by The Beatles. Album is at 7 million right now. Okay. Then we got Elvis at number two. Mm hmm. The Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd at number three. Led Zeppelin coming up. At the bottom, we've got Grease with 2.9 thousand. Uh, 2.9 million, I mean. Okay, the Beatles are still killing it at 9 million copies of this album so far in 1982. We've got Abbey Road by the Beatles coming up. We've got Elvis again with Elvis Christmas album. I didn't even know he did one. Bad, of, Bad Out of Hell by Meatloaf. I heard about that. I heard that was really big. Rumors by Fleetwood Mac is coming up. Saturday Night Fever by the Bee Gees is climbing, man. Look at that. Back in Black by ACTC. Hey, here comes Michael Jackson in 1987. Thriller is climbing the charts. Abbey Road going up. Grease going up. Hotel California by Eagles. That's a classic. That's a classic. Thriller by Michael Jackson. Look at that. 14 million copies sold. And that's in 1990. Look at it going up. Pink Floyd has now got the most albums sold at 17 million in 1992 bridge over troubled water simon and garfunkel okay uh what do we got the eagles greatest hits coming up bad out of hell by meatloaf 20 million copies what pink floyd 20 million copies by 1995 thriller at 23 million copies this is fire this is fire check it out check it out 
Man, so Thriller is definitely looking like it's going to be the biggest selling album of all time, by the looks of it. It's still too early to tell yet. Look at this, look at this. Okay. Okay, we got The Wall by Pink Floyd coming up at 14 million copies sold. You know, that's a lot of albums, guys, especially for these days when albums don't even sell that much anymore, you know what I mean? Like, an artist these days will be blessed to get like a million to two million copies sold as like being like a real great achievement you know back in these days this is before streaming guys look at this may 2002 uh the bodyguard by whitney houston coming through look at that it's starting to climb at 18 million copies thriller by mj still winning look 38 million copies sold bat out of hell by meatloaf number two and back in black by acdc number three dark side of the moon pink floyd number four look at this look at this so it's like the same albums in this top group at the moment and we're in 2007 now let's see let's see let's see let's see any other albums going to come out of somewhere and come into this top group let's find out bad by michael jackson just when i said that 24 million copies in 2010 sold i was wondering if bad was going to come in because i know thriller was already there thriller's at 50 million copies right now in 2012 come on over by shania twain i didn't expect that look at that january 2013 look at that coming up 28 million copies that sergeant pepper lonely hearts album is dropping Man, look at Thriller though, 56, my guy, Michael Jackson, that's how you do it, my guy, 58 million copies sold. Come on over, Bushin' I Twain is climbing in 2016. Meatloaf is holding um, strong at number two, and Back in Black by ACDC as well, at number three. Look at that. This is crazy, this is crazy. Jagged Little Pill by Alanis Morissette no way the lambs won't be happy about that <laughs> if you know you know look at that 33 million copies january july 2020 that is the top group and michael jackson had the most album sold it's 66 million copies of thriller yo i was not surprised that michael jackson took this video out yes sir yes sir the king of pop with 66 million copies sold of thriller now before you come at me guys it could be more it could be less i don't know these videos aren't always going to be exactly correct okay remember it's for entertainment i know you guys get really passionate about this but let's just have fun guys it's just a fun video don't go too crazy in the comments because like i said you will get blocked you know just keep it respectful and we can we can talk about these things. We don't have to take it to a nasty place. You understand what I'm saying? You feel me? But shout out to MJ. Yes, sir. That is the biggest selling album of all time. According to these stats, Thriller by Michael Jackson. That's the winner, man. And I was surprised to see a lot of these other albums in there, like Shania Twain was like, wow, that really sold a lot. Um, Meatloaf did amazing. His album, That Out of Hell, that really was something. It really was something. Pink Floyd were lit too, so yeah man, I really enjoyed this video. Let me know all your thoughts down below, and remember, keep it positive. What did you think of these biggest selling albums of all time? Were you surprised? Did you think there was going to be like some other artists in there maybe? Well, even uh, Mariah Carey was just out of that list, um, I believe, at least according to these stats. I know that Music Box sold more like 32 to 35 million copies so it should have been on this list but whoever did this video it is what it is and it may not be the latest video it may not be completely updated so i know a lot of artists have not completely certified their albums up to date so that's another thing to take into consideration but anyway guys i enjoyed reacting to this anyway it's just for fun guys so no matter what fandom you're from just let me know what you thought of each album yeah man that was fun i just want to have fun on my channel and that's what i'm doing guys so at the end of the day this is my channel i can do whatever i want and i will continue to do that so suck it <laughs> so if you have any suggestions for other types of videos i could do just drop me a comment down below or hit me up in the dms on my instagram 
follow me at Ruben underscore Wills. Don't forget to smash this like button like you've never smashed it before. Share the video too if you feel like doing that. And most, 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 most importantly, subscribe and click the bell notification and click it on to all so that you'll get all the notifications when I drop some heat and when I go live. You don't want to miss those live streams. Also guys, if you don't realize, one thing that I do is that when I'm looking through my own personal channels that I'm subscribed to, what I do is I click the subscription tab on YouTube. And if you click on that guys, it actually shows you all your different subscriptions, channels that you are subscribed to. And when they post a new video, you actually get an up to date page of when they post a video because you know how YouTube be capping and you guys don't get notified every time someone posts something. But if you click that, you'll always be able to see when your YouTube channels that you are subscribed to post. So just click on that guys if you're not getting any notifications from me as well. Let me just check this tab to see if he's posted anything lately. Oh look, Ruben just posted a video. I didn't even know that. Like we say, YouTube always be capping. So just thought I'd let you know that. Just another way to stay up to date with me. Don't forget the merch is on the way guys. So help me get to 10,000 subscribers. Let's do it. We're so close. Hashtag road to 10k. But that's it for this video guys. Thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for your positivity. You feel me? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay fly, stay fly. And remember, stay humble. Peace.